morning lovies. <laughs> it's Cherie. Um, I thought I'd do a get ready with me today slash demo um, on a foundation that I've been using lately and I've been digging it like this. Digging it. <laughs> Let's have some copper. Mm. I don't have anything on my face yet. Let's spray some George's aloe. got kind of a busy day today not really but busy for me <laughs> um, it's really chilly here this morning it's early up in here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what's going on in my ugly mug um, <laughs> um, I gotta take my dog to get a paw to cure <laughs> little dogs are so like high maintenance we have two huge aminous dogs I have a husky shepherd mix named Nola and then I have a Rottweiler Pitbull no, Rottweiler, Rottweiler something mean looking mix <laughs> named Richie. What is she mixed with? I don't remember. But anyway, I've never had to do their nails. And then we have a like four pound Chihuahua. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Um, mm. <sighs> Coffee just makes my soul happy. Okay, let's do some face. All right, so a couple weeks ago I hauled um, a white rabbit. Um, haul. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of samples of foundation from them. Unfortunately, let's see, I got four, five, six, seven, I got nine, no, four, four. I got eight. <laughs> I got eight uh, foundation samples. Four of them did not work for me at all. Like, the color was so wrong, I couldn't even really try them out. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to make another order, darn, for some samples to try those. But I did try um, this foundation, which I wore in a previous video, and I got a lot of comments about it. So, um, my face was looking good or something. That's good to know. So, I thought I'd do a little demo. And the company is Gabrielle. Um, I think I have a lip gloss by Gabrielle, but I don't know other than, like, I don't have any experience with their products other than that. Um, I know they sell this at Whole Foods, I'm pretty sure. And then, of course, they have it on White Rabbit. But this is in Pale Ivory. And I just have this little teeny tiny sample that's super cute. And I say teeny tiny because it looks like it, but there is a butt ton of product in here. Um, it's pretty full. And I've used this at least four times already. So this is probably a good a good ten applications. And when I first wore it in the... Uh, in my previous video, I was complaining about it, but it was my application I was complaining about. I accidentally put on... I had went through four previous foundations and had to remove them because they were so orange. I looked like an Oompa Loompa. Um, but, uh, but, um, when I got to that one, I put way too much on, so it was kind of... I felt like it was kind of cakey. But the color is great, and the coverage is great, and I'm really in love with it, and I'm probably going to buy the full size. So... There's all that info. I don't know what it is with me, but I remove my mascara every night. Like, I use my homemade uh, makeup remover, which gets a ton of it off. Then I wash my face, and I rub my face down with a um, washcloth. And in the morning, I still have it under my eyes. And, and you know, that's after a shower. I just let, got out of the shower. I just It's always on my face. Um, I'm using my Midas um, concealer from the All Natural Face which Miss Ivy Beauty sent me that I am just in love with and I'm going to be purchasing it for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, what else do I have to do today? So I have to take my dog to the spa. I can't even get a pedicure, but my dog's getting one. Um, sorry guys. Got eye boogers all up in here. I just woke up. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I gotta do that, and then I have this, um, I'm going to attempt, bear with me, I'm going to attempt <laughs> to henna my hair, um, this afternoon. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I've never henna my hair, so I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, and then I chicken out. But I brought all of the things to do it, so <laughs> I'm having a morning already. Um, so anyway... How are you guys? Um, my in-laws are here, and I think they're leaving tomorrow morning, and then my brother is coming back tomorrow afternoon, and we were going to go to the Renaissance Festival, but I looked it up, and it's already over for the season, which just breaks my little heart. I love the Renaissance Festival. It was my second job I ever had in high school. 
My first job was at the Dairy Queen when I was 15. Then I got a job at the Renaissance Festival as a front gate greeter. And I also worked at the Queen's Registry. Mm -hmm. And in the Children's Kingdom. <laughs> that was my favorite job I've ever had. Alright, so I am concealed. Um, <laughs> I filmed a video yesterday, so all my stuff is everywhere. Um, that's basically my life. I'm always filming a video, and my stuff is everywhere. That's the way love goes. Ooh, that's the way love goes. Um, brain, 95% song lyrics. <laughs> but anyway, um... So yeah, we were going to go to the Renaissance Festival, but it's not here, so I think instead we're going to do the Georgia Aquarium, and then there's this really cool neighborhood in Atlanta called Little Five Points. Um, kind of reminds me of, I guess, if you're in Texas, like in Austin, like it's just where all the cool kids hang out, and I thought I would take my brother there and like walk around. They have cool shops. They have a crystal shop there that I want to go to um, called Crystal Blue, and then they have um, this really cool funky store called The Junk Man's Daughter, which is a really cool place. So I want to take him there and let him see what's going on. See? Like, mascara from yesterday is already flaking under my eye. I don't understand how I don't get it all off. Look at that. That's after like four washings. What am I doing wrong? Ugh. I think it's only when I wear like excessive amounts of mascara. Like if I just wear normal people on my own mascara, I'm fine. But yesterday I wanted like va va voom, so I wore like four layers of mascara, and I'm pretty sure my eyelashes haven't fully recovered. <laughs> um. Ah, but anyway, so we'll put some more under there since we gotta do it again. All right. Uh, uh, okay. So anyway. I'm excited he's coming back, and then he's only staying until Wednesday, and then I'll have no family here anymore. So sad. Woo. Um, what else is new? Let's see. We went out to a we went out to dinner last night to a Creole place. I'm gonna use my Pacifica palette just because it's sitting right in front of me, and I don't feel like digging out some pigments. So get it. Um. Not that it's a bad palette, it's just, um, there's no particular reason I'm putting this on my face. Um, <laughs> I'm so good at digression. Um, but anyway, so we went out to dinner last night and we had some yummy Creole food. I wish I could eat spicy food. I am a super weenie. Um, no matter what I order, it's too spicy. <laughs> and so, I ended up not eating mine. And I didn't, I didn't eat it. I mean, it tasted good, it was just so hot. <laughs> I need something for girls who don't like hot, spicy stuff. I really like Pacifica um, shadows. They're very buttery. They're um, easy to blend. And they're pretty affordable. I have two other eyeshadow palettes from them that I depotted and put into like little elf ones. So they're easier to travel with. So. Let's see, what else, what else? Um... I'm feeling a little spicy. Let's do some blue. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah. So that's pretty much all we got going on today. Doggies and hair. Doggies and hair. What else?
those are pretty much my eyeballs. Um, I use these three colors. This inner corner, outer corner, crease. Um, let's see, we had a little bit of farm excitement yesterday. I went out to feed the chickens in the morning and I was all do 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 singing my single lady song and having some fun. And I opened up the coop to get the eggs and there was a giant snake in there instead. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to use this foundation now. Um, I suggest, this is the way I do it, I don't know. I'm no, I'm no professional. But um, I dab it with a brush just because I don't like to get it under my fingernails. But you really don't need a lot. It goes a long way. So I just dot it on like little foundation freckles. The Pippi Longstocking of foundation. I would suggest to go lightly at first and then just add more where you need it. Because in like this area I don't really need a lot, or at least for me I don't. This is the area that I usually need more coverage or my hyper redness shows up so I usually just lightly dot and then blend it with my finger and then use my beauty blender to even it out and then add where I need it. But anyway, so I went to get the eggs and I opened up the thing and I'm like, oh, because we have a chicken in the top coop that's sitting on eggs and I think she's going to hatch some out. Um, and I'm all, hi mama chicken. And I look down and I'm like, ah! Um, so I screamed like a little girl and my husband had to had to deal with that. <laughs> um, it was just a king snake, so it wasn't like poisonous. I'm pretty sure it's our pet king snake. Last last spring and summer, we had a king snake that showed up twice in our coop, and uh, it was just eating our eggs. And we just scooped him up in a shovel and took him down to the field and told him to go on his merry way and quit eating our breakfast. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's him. I think he's he's back for seconds. <laughs> but you really shouldn't kill um, king snakes or black snakes. We really could don't kill them anyway. But especially if they're not venomous, because um, they really do help your yard. They eat um, rats and mice and um, small predatory animals. They also will sometimes eat and fight off poisonous snakes. So don't kill the non-poisonous ones. Okay, so that's one layer. I think I'll zoom you in a little bit. Boop. But I mean, it gives great coverage just with that little tiny bit, and it's not cakey, it's not oxidizing. Um, I really, really like it. It blends really easy, and I don't you don't need a whole lot to get the desired coverage. So now I'm just going to add some more where I feel like I need it. of the coverage. I really like it. Um, I usually set it with a powder just because I set everything with a powder. Um, just to kind of control oil and shine. So I'm going to set it with my Soap Naturals Blur Powder. And I really feel like this gives me a real flawless finish. It matches my skin tone pretty well. I thought it was going to be too light, but apparently I'm whiter than I appear. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just going to add some blush and do all my eyeball stuff.
So that's my finished look. I really love this foundation. I'm definitely probably going to have to get it in the full size. Um, it's light enough to where I feel like I can wear it in the heat and I don't feel melty. Um, but it's also got enough coverage for me to where I feel comfortable. So I'm all about this. I'm going to have to go and get the big one. Um, I would suggest looking on White Rabbit and places like that because I think you can get it cheaper for just a couple dollars cheaper. But hey, every little penny counts. Um, but yeah, I'm in love with this stuff. And if you're unsure, go check out White Rabbit Beauty. I'll link her down below. She does a lot of samples of higher end products. Right now she's running low on all of the fairer shades, but I emailed her about it and uh, she said that it's going to be a while on 100% on pure samples because um, 100% pure is also out. Uh, but the other ones she said should be coming back soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Bye!